Hi there, I'm Jonathan Ammons, and welcome to the Ingles Table. Today I'm excited because we're making my tuna poke recipe. Ingles has the best tuna, and we're combining some of it with some other ingredients to make a truly delicious meal. So let's get started. Tuna poke is a Hawaiian dish. It's kind of a classic staple there, and you've probably seen poke restaurants popping up all over your neighborhood because it's kind of become a very big craze in the fast casual world. Um, it's basically a Buddha bowl with raw fish. Um, you can pretty much add whatever you want to the top of it. There are traditional methods. I'm not going to be showing you one of those because I want you to feel free to customize it with whatever you've got in your fridge. I've got some leftover rice that I just reheated in the microwave. I'm going to top that with a little a few slices of tuna, some avocado, some fresh veggies, some herbs, and it's just a way of taking things and combining them and making a really healthy, easy to make meal that gets most of its flavor from these sauces. So we're going to start off with our rice. We reheated some of this rice. You typically want to use short grain rice for this, so you might want to use a sushi rice. I didn't have that, so I'm just using jasmine rice. It works perfectly fine. We're just going to layer it in the bowl. Give a nice bed for this nice starchy bed to start off with. And then this is kind of like a seafood salad. So we're gonna be adding some lettuce in there just to give us some extra crunch. It's all about like combining textures and having all these different flavors, textures, warm rice, cold lettuce, all that together really helps it out. We're gonna be using raw tuna. If you don't like the idea of using raw tuna, you can Obviously sear this if you want on e either side, just salt it a little beforehand and, and sear it really quickly on both sides so the middle stays nice and pink. Um, I, I use tuna from the freezer section and this is primarily because when you're catching tuna, that, or when wild caught tuna is frozen, it's usually frozen on the ship and it's blast chilled. So it's frozen right there on the premises and living in the mountains where I live here in Asheville, we don't know how long it takes to get things to or from. So I t tend to trust if I'm gonna eat it raw, eat it from the freezer section. Um, you know what you're getting, it's guaranteed to be fresh, and there's plenty of selections at Ingles that will be coming out of that freezer section. And you can just have it in the freezer at any time, and any time you crave this dish, you can just pull it out and whip it up. We're gonna be cutting against the grain, so you can see where the grain of the fish is right there. We're just gonna cut right down through, and we're gonna make Nice, thin little slivers. All right, so we've got that ready. And we're just gonna place that right across the middle. Let it all fold over on top of each other so it looks nice and pretty. And then in with our avocado. Ingles always has fresh avocados in the produce section at a pretty decent price. You usually get a deal on a couple of them so that'll feed the whole family. Nice look to it. Next in with some radishes. You can use any kind of pickled veg for this. You can even quick pickle these by just adding a little bit of salt and letting it sit for about 30 minutes and then just rinse it off when you're done. And you can get a Asian quick pickle that way. And that's just a really nice way to add different types of acidity to your foods. So in with a little radish. Cucumbers, you can do the same with your cucumbers, quick pickle them if you want, or just throw them on raw. And lastly, top with some green onions. Again, we're looking for textures. You want things that have varied textures. And you can do this with anything you've got in your fridge. Just about any vegetable will work with it. Nuts go great on this, so you can add some peanuts on top. I garnish with a little cilantro. I tend to like cilantro. I just like the floral flavor that it gives things. If you're not a big cilantro fan, you might try parsley, you might try mint, you might try any other number of fragrant, fragrant little uh, herbs. On with some toasted sesame seeds. I just toasted these in a little spice pan really quickly. And lastly, we're gonna be using our sauces. I've done two different sauces for this, and typically you do combine sauces on poke. Um, this one is equal parts fish sauce, simple syrup, or you can just add sugar, and soy sauce. Um, fish sauce can be a little bit intimidating, but once you have it, and once you see the kind of flavor it adds to things, you'll find all these places to use it. I use it to give a little bit of extra punch to a lot of chicken stocks that I make or any other kind of stocks for soups. Um, you can use it to make pad thai. There's just endless, endless things that you can do with, with a good fish sauce. So just drizzle a little bit of that on. 
just marinate it real nice. And then this is just equal parts sriracha and mayonnaise. And I, you know, who doesn't like a spicy mayonnaise? So we're gonna just go right across the top with that. And there you have it. That's as easy as that meal can get. Thanks so much for joining me here at the Ingles Table. Be sure to check out the rest of the website for more tips, tricks, and recipes. I'll see you next time.